Okay, now, welcome back to Sonic Mania, folks. So, of course, now that I'm going through the intro once again... Oh. Oh, that's understandable that I have that. So this time around, I'm going from the, uh, the, from the PS4 to the Nintendo Switch this time around. I'm playing the Switch version this time around, so... what? So this time around, you don't see that, uh, you know, copyright Sega watermark from my uh, PS4 recordings. For my PS4 captures. So this time round, I'm going to be playing as Miles Tails Prower this time round. Sonic's best friend and kid, little bro, little bro. So this time round, we are now. I am going to be. This is going to be a few gameplay changes though. So we're going to see how uh, Robotnik gets rid of that. Gets that fat ruby cut. To get out. And then he has those five egg robos. Oh, here we go again. We are gonna brew from time and space. And there's the there's the heavies again. So of course, welcome. To, we're back in Green Hill Zone. So of course, Tails' this gameplay not it may be similar to Sonic's, especially when it comes to hit you know the spin dash, spin attack, and of course the and of, and of course a few others. As well as the trademark momentum speed, but this time around, instead of having a drop dash, a super peel out, or of course the insta shield, or any of the shield specific abilities, Tails can actually fly. Yes, he has his flying ability from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which which actually debuted in. Which debut debuted with Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, get away from me, Motorbug! What? So this time around, instead of actually having abilities, Tails can actually fly. Is a boat can only fly. So this time round, we are only having Tails' specific ability to actually. So basically, with Tails' flying abilities, you can actually uncover secret areas which cannot be uh, possible with Sonic. Actually, if you've seen it by Sonic and Tails playthrough, at certain times I actually used so Tails' flying ability to uh, lift, hoist Sonic up to uh, safer areas. And skip specific and gets to secret areas himself, but however, but this time around with Tails, you can actually go to areas yourself without actually play, pressing the up or the and the uh, A button, the jump button. So of course, so you see the Switch version and some of that glory, some of that some of those glorious frame rate issues. Yes, that's right. The yes, the first that only happens in the first special stage. So. I actually heard Christian Whitehead, the person who actually uh, programmed, was one of the lead programmer of this game, actually says that he's going to be, he's on the uh, case of patching this game, so at least we'll see it when he get, when it comes out. Probably mostly due to performance, uh, you know, uh, performance improvements for all versions, especially the Switch version, I hope. And we got the first Chaos Emerald. So once again, I've got to get to all the stuff. I'm getting the stuff chaos emeralds once again, not only for score bonuses, but also for, of course, the unlock super tails. Which, with super tails, he's got to cheat. It's basically tails is basically the easy mode of this game with his blind abilities. And if you are wondering, if those for those who are newcomers to the series can be feel right at home with tails because he's. Cause he can, cause he can actually skip specific points that are difficult with Sonic. And look at this, with invincibility and my flying ability, I absolutely cheesed that boss. That boss was no, was no problem. Okay, so now that's that done. Off to Act Two. Do, 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 do. Now a lot of you may be wondering, does Tails is Tails much more adorable than his Mega Drive counterpart? In fact, he is. He's much more adorable. Look at his, if you look at his victory animation. It's so cute. Never have I seen Tails so adorable in this game, such as this. And of course, this is pop. pop and a lot, but this is possibly but this is also my second Switch playthrough, folks. Mostly due to the fact that I actually, uh, of course, got myself by, by the, using my Avamedia capture card. You know, the 
HDMI one with one with the HDMI connection. Unfortunately, there I have encountered a couple of problems with the uh, you know HDMI thing. Because, unfortunately, for some reason, HDMI uh, recording cannot be supported on PlayStation consoles, which sucks big time. I'm hoping to try and get something to, you know, hopefully uh, fix this problem for future playthroughs. But in the meantime, I might use the capture function for the uh, PlayStation 3. The, no, the PS4. Luckily, though, that does not really affect the PS3 much. PS3 much, considering that, of course, there is some, there is a way to get around that copyright thing, that stupid copyright thing, and that is with the, and that is with the, you know, the, um, the, co the components connection, which I use for my, you know, the new recordings for my upcoming uh, Machinima episode of D my new DSP tries it video, which is called, which is on the, uh, my DSP tries it video for the uh, Bugs Modernation career thing. And I've got a couple of more announcements to make. Um, as you can probably tell, I will be hopefully getting a Poker Tournament as soon as possible. Because Pokemon Tournament comes out this week, but I'm not going to get it until I, get to MC until I go to MCM in, uh, in next month. Once again, I'm going. Uh, once again, I'm going to be announcing who I'm going to be who I'm going to be uh, cosplaying as this time around. So, I'll leave that announcement to the um, the uh, monthly preview. So, of course, I've done that. Another chaos emerald down. Thumbs up for tails. And his cute little and his adorable little looks. Wow. Tails sleeping. If Tails was uh, actually nap having a bit of a nap like a typical fox cub does, I actually think that would be very adorable. Oh, here comes Rope Blutnik again. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can actually fly over him and hit him that way. But actually... I can't, I can't actually hit it because it goes, takes me to propel forward. Okay, can I go up? There we go. Come on, can I do it? Yeah. Oh, he hit me! I cannot believe it. I have to go to a higher ground. Wait until he does it. No, this, bo this boss has... Right, I think I got an idea. There we go. There! That's right, Reblutnik. Uh, yeah, sorry, Reblutnik. You can't beat me at all. Heroes will always prevail. <laughs> what is happening? To, what are these animals doing? They've actually wanted to get out of there because, unfortunately, they want to escape Dr. Robotnik easily. Okay, so... Robotnik's very mad. <laughs> I hate that little fox car. Time to put him back through time and space! Bah! <laughs> Those heavies also ran away as well. What's the chemical blood zone again? Oh, he only looks up. Apparently, apparently there was of course an unused animation sprite, which uh, which of course when Tails actually does get hit by that piece of Big Mac, he actually uh, brushes it off, notices it, and then brushes it off his, uh, off his, ta off his tail, using his tail. Oh, I'm going the same way as, uh, as the, as this one. So basically, alongside Tails' uh, glide ability, he could also swim underwater as well, like in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's really good. Right, here we go. There's another ring there. And let's go catch that UFO. So a lot of people may be wondering, why am I taking a lot longer than in my Sonic playthrough as Tails in this, this time around? Well, you know what? With Tails, you can actually explore areas that Sonic cannot catch. Gonna get to because because Sonic, unlike Tails and Knuckles, doesn't have any abilities. He's only got his trademark speed, and that's just about it. 
He's only got drop dash. He's got the super peel out and the and the insta shield. The two, which I no actually two can be unlocked by collecting medals in the special stages. But of course the super but there's a catch. The super peel out and the and the insta shield can only be used with when you're not when you when you select no save. I might do that one time as like like a like a like one play like a like a certain play like a playthrough or stream or something like that. But not but not right now because I got to also do knuckles as well and review this game as well. I might do the knuckles mode the knuckles and knuckles mode possibly in November because I've got like some because. Not only to celebrate the release of the upcoming release of Sonic Forces that is coming out that month, I'm also going to be doing some Halloween, you know, Let's Plays that I mentioned. But I'm going to mention which ones I'm going to be doing. I'm most likely going to be doing a Let's pl no, a playthrough, a a, a customised playthrough of Left 4 Dead 2, and possibly even a few a few uh, games that that I might do in the near future. But anyway, back with this game, I actually think I like how this game really functions, especially when it comes to when it comes to the aesthetics. I believe because of Ta Tails' flight abilities really makes for good exploring and finding some absolute some secrets that cannot be some secrets. Oh my goodness gracious me. I passed some goodies as well. Sometimes the tubes can do that. The reason why I'm, you know, I'm really am trying to explore for, for for hidden goodies. Now a lot of people may be wondering what are my thoughts on, of course, the Sonic 2 HD remake and the new demo coming out. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of glad that uh, that fans really are having a. That fans really are having a good time of remaking Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I absolutely am very glad that Christian Whitehead, that, no, 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 not Christian Whitehead, that T. Lopes, the composer of this game, is also created remaking the soundtrack for this game, which is really good. I really like his uh, remix of uh, Emerald Till Zone. It really fits the bill quite nicely, though, in terms of Sonic music. I'm really, I'm glad. I'm really glad that he was chosen as the composer for this game. Okay, here we go. Where we go? Blonk. Blonk. Ah. There we go. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, and here's the one thing that you will never know about the mega, about the uh, the the hyper ring. If you actually collect the hyper ring, not only will you be able to lose, le you can actually regain all your all, a lot of your rings back, but you can actually once again gain another extra life. You can actually gain another extra life once doing that, and that's really nice. That's the nice feature is that you can actually use it several times, and you can actually get more extra lives as a result. I think that could be a great. That's a great way to get more extra lives. I think that that trick might be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good trick actually to actually use a lot less lives, but you can actually gain more extra lives in the process. Okay, so back into the act two of this zone, and I know which boss we're actually I'm actually fighting. Bong, boingy boing. Up we go! Up we go, Tails! I mean, I mean, ta I mean. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, as you can probably tell, Chemical Blood Zone Act 2 really is very energetic because of its tubes and, and of course, uh, being able to know which way to go. I do absolutely, absolutely love this music, but absolutely love this music, and it's one of the best in the game. Oh yes, and of course, because you can actually turn 
the, the, the liquid into the, uh, the poisonous liquid into jello. Yes, the Mega Mac can be turned into jello, by the way. You can absolutely. And it's called. And it's a laboratory. You can actually turn it into bouncy jello. Which reminds me of the flaws of Wacky Workbench, which I've seen before. Although this time around, they're a lot more fun than in Wacky Workbench. Wacky Workbench's gimmick was just plain unnecessary. We'll just see if there was anything there. No, no, no. Let's go! Woo! Ah, those, those tubes were actually for these, Sarah. Oh, I forgot! Extra life! Yes! Ooh, look at that! I can actually do this! If he it couldn't do that with Tails before, so... Now, we can, I can actually do it now! And yes, this... And yes, the Bubble Shield can, be, can protect you against the Mega Mac as well, which is really nice. Time to go speedy, speedy, uh, time for the speeded up version. And now before we actually go, here's the speeded up version. The speedy up version. Alright, so I know what where what this is. Come on, you shoot me if you dare! Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I don't understand why the normal shield can't deflect projectiles and only get when you get hit with the with the, the, the with the shit with the actual normal shield, but with the elemental shields you can deflect projectiles. That kinda is a little inconsistent though, but then again, then again I know that, that property was big to begin with though. Alright, so now let's catch up with that. Whoa! Anything. Let's get up with that stupid UFO! A few moments later. There we go! We cow caught up with it finally. Yes! So, ring and Mac bonus. Yay! Alright, so now that I've got the four chaos, that damn four chaos emerald. Let's go and fight. Let's go and confront that that big bloated bean bag, Doctor Robotnik, once again. And the timer will stop. All right, it's time for a game of B B Machine. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Alright, so I have a plan to do a multi-combo on this guy. Here we go. Oh! He's, he's blocked my- he's blocked my plan! No! I had a plan! I had a plan! Maybe, maybe I could do this. Come on, get- Get me a blue, please. Get a blue. Ah, right, here we go. Got. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna definitely get him. Oh, he's got me as well. Ah. Oh. Okay, so of course we're having a longer game of Beat Beat Machine because. So, because it's Dr. Robotnik, isn't it? So, we... okay, let's get him. Oh, got him. Yes! I got a bit of ropes now. <laughs> Take that, Robotnik. I thought you, I thought my trolling experience would definitely get, get you. Ha ha ha. That wasn't, that wasn't what I had in mind, but I nearly do I've nearly defeated a Blutnik now. Oh no! He's gonna get- he got me! Here we go! 
Oh, he's nearly it. It's a... Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's always defeated anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes! Down you go, Rublutnik. Ha! There we go. So now that we've done this, we are going to move on to our next area, Studiopolis. But that's going to be for another part. So, of course, let's... Bonk! Alright, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part where we're going to take on Studiopolis and fly Battery Zone. So, I'll see you guys in part two of the Tales Run of Sonic Mania.